Hey guys, um, I have something, well, I hope uh, it's something you guys find really, really cool. Um, and so basically, I had a Fairphone uh, 4 for a while actually, and um, I've had uh, Ubuntu Touch also for a while on it. Um, and I'm not sure if uh, you've seen it yet. I actually made another video about the Pine Phone um, and what I thought about that and things like that. Um, I might do a just like a kind of like a review about that um, for the Fairphone 4 with a bunch of touch but that's like a separate thing I actually want to show you guys um, how I set up uh, the Ubuntu touch for uh, development um, I currently actually live outside my native country um, so and I have like a portable like little display as you guys can see this doesn't look like a phone uh, because I hooked it up to an external display and um, so yeah I just want to show you guys how I set it up for development the process I took and why this is pretty exciting for developers um, if you're on the move if you're like me work remotely and things like that uh, okay so um, first off you're going to need to uh, after you know you set up a bunch of touch and all that stuff you're going to need to set up uh, Libertine, Libertine, I don't know how it's pronounced, but you're going to need to set, the, <coughs> set this up. Basically, what this is going to do is going to create a container um, where you can install what's normally desktop uh, software. Okay, so I created one here, and I give I didn't I didn't give it any name. I just give it the default name and everything. Um, so when you get to this screen, you know, you're in settings. You open Libertine, you're not going to see this. You just gonna, I think it's just going to be blank and it's going to say this and a plus sign. There's not going to be anything here. Go ahead, hit the plus sign. Um, put the default configurations if you want or just put your own configurations, all that stuff. Um, and then once you do that, this will show up. This new container that you created will show up and there'll be like a little loading thing. Uh, you can click on it. Um, and uh, you can, uh, well, what would be in place? Uh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Container information. Yeah. So let me let me show that again. Um, sorry, it's been a while since I did this. Uh, since this. So yeah, click into this. Yeah, again, I don't think you'll see anything here. Um, click the settings, uh, container information, and you can do operation details. If your thing is still loading and setting up, you'll see like an option here to tap or click. And it'll show you the logs for it basically, and you can see when it's done, what's taking you know time, and things like that. Um, they say, uh, and then there's plenty of videos on, on setting up Libertine, I think, but they say like, uh, don't uh, let your phone uh, turn off or like your display turn off when this is going. Um, mine actually did, and it, everything seemed fine. Uh, so I don't know if that's still an issue. If maybe they, they patched that, but. Uh, if you, if you want to be on the safe side, uh, in settings, you can go to, I think, uh, let me see, uh, security and privacy, uh, locking, unlocking, uh, is this it? Yeah, okay, uh, lock when idle, and uh, do that never, and just let this, uh, keep the settings, um, uh, you do have to keep this open, don't close settings, yeah, that's, uh, that's one thing, you can have it in the background, I think, just don't close it. Basically, you don't want to interrupt this process. It's, it's a lot better if you don't. So, um, create your container, wait for it to finish. Again, you can see that information there. Wait for it to finish. Once it's done, um, uh, you'll see like uh, normally what you see when you do like apt install, like like a bunch of, uh, how do I say this, like zero packages upgraded, you know, 10 packages installed. Like, you know, once you see that information and also when it says ready here, you'll, you'll, you'll know it's done. Um, now you can start, you know, adding a bunch of things. Uh, don't worry about this dev scripts. I installed that mistake and I removed it. Uh, it says, um, um, yeah, I think it's just like a bug. Like don't, don't, you know, don't, you don't need to install this. Uh, you can if you want to. I, I don't know what it is. I installed it by mistake. Okay. So I work, um, a lot with, uh, uh, React and, um, for my front end, for my personal projects. So one thing is I need Git to clone because um, you actually can't install Git by default on uh, Ubuntu Touch. You can't install any of these. Uh, well, actually you have Vim. I think you have curl already in the terminal. I don't know about Node and Git. Oh, you can install Node through the App Store, but that's, again, that's something else. Um, 
I needed basically all of these tools in my container, not in my, you know, regular, and I'll show you in a second, not on my regular, like, phone, I need it in the container. You see what I'm saying? I need all these tools in the container. So, um, to install this is actually very easy. I uh, just hit the plus sign, enter package name, and for all these packages, you can literally enter them as they appear. So, like, uh, it's just git, or as they show up there, node.js, okay? Um, yeah, so just hit those names. I don't know if it matters, but I did them one at a time. Again, I'm, I don't want to break anything. Um, once the status for this one is ready, you know, you can go ahead and install the next thing. So now you will have these, and you can install whatever text editor you want. I, I prefer Vim. Um, that is kind of the unfortunate thing is that you, unlike uh, on your desktop, uh, you won't have, you know, your favorite uh, unless Vim or <laughs> Nano is like your favorite or whatever, um, you're not going to have um, uh, like Visual Studio Code, you know, on your phone. Um, but anyways, so you're going to need Git for version control. You need Node if you're working with uh, React or like whatever um, your, whatever, uh, what's it called, uh, language you're working with, Get you know, whatever prerequisites you need. Um, you need curl to install NVM, uh, and I'll show you. So I'll, I'll show you basically the, the process I took, and then you need a text editor. So once you've installed these, you can see those here. So let me do, let me do exit and clear. Okay, so I have this command here. Yeah, so before I go into that, I'm currently on my, when I open the terminal, I'm currently on my phone. You see what I'm saying? I'm not in that container yet. Okay, so if I just do that command, Labor time launch. Uh, Focal is just the name, the default name. So if you see here, uh, container information, ID Focal, right? So if you changed it, it will be something else. Okay. Uh, so now I'm in the container, right? Okay. So as I was saying about Node, um, so Git installed fine, everything Vim installed fine. Um, Node, when I installed it, um, and this is this is the order I installed things. So I installed Git and then Node, and then when I checked Node version, now it's not gonna show anymore because I upgraded it. Um, oh no, it shows it again. Uh, it's ten, which is kind of old. Um, so I'll show you how I switched to the other one. So I installed, I did this install. I checked the version. I was like, oh, that's kind of old. So I um, also installed curl. Uh, let me see if I still have that command. Yeah, you can get this from online. Uh, this is just uh, one of the normal ways to install uh, MVM on, on Linux. Hit enter, I think it'll say already installed. Yeah, already installed. And it'll say, uh, let's see. Uh, where is it? I'm not, oh, uh, dot config MVM. Yeah, okay. So now. It's not available globally, so one thing, now you can do some, you know, configuration to make it available globally, um, but one easy, you know, workaround, because I'm lazy, is just doing, uh, sorry, dot config, we're already in here, uh, we're already in, the, the default directory will already have it, dot config, um, nvm slash uh, nvm dot sh, I think. All right, so now I have nvm available, okay? So I can say nvm uh, install, uh, I think, LTS. Okay, uh, and it was already installed because I installed it before. So now if I do node dash dash version, I have 20.16. So now it's a lot, it's to the recent, you know, uh, long-term support. Okay, so let me see, let me clear this uh, directory. Okay, uh, let me make, or I can do it in documents. Documents. Yeah, I don't have anything right now. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, I don't know why this says I have no name. So if you know why, maybe please leave it in the comments. Um, okay. Uh, let me see. So here is my repository. So I'm going to clone it. Let's see if this works. Hopefully this works. What happened? 
Oh, okay. I, I don't know. Okay. Um, okay. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Okay. Let's do ls. There we go. Um, all right. So I have my project here. And actually something I was curious about, and I haven't tried this before yet, uh, so we'll see, is one, um, can I do npm run build? So I want to see, like, does it, like, uh, does it compile? Uh, but two, I want to see, like, uh, can I do npm start? Because I'm going to, I don't know what will happen. Hopefully nothing scary. Uh, electron forge. Oh, 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 that's because I have some electron configuration. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, package.json yeah yeah there we go so I think I just need to change this back it's just for some I actually did another video on this uh, uh, shoot uh, run start Nope. Okay. NPM run start. <laughs> okay. All right. I have no idea what's happening. Um. Yeah, I don't really know what's happening. Uh. So. I can try going to localhost 3000 on the browser. Uh, where's the browser? So localhost 3000 is the default port. Let's see. I don't know if this will work. No, I don't think it did. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know. No, this is not it. No. Um, yeah, so I don't know if that works. <laughs> uh, I'll see if I can uh, get that working. Let's try building npm run build. React scripts. Oh, because same thing, build command. Okay, hold on. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, honestly. Okay, well, I don't think maybe something was wrong in uh, package.json. But, uh, anyways. Um, well, there you go. You get a. I, I just gave you guys, a, you know, an honest uh, uh, review of how the situation is. So, you guys, I'm not deceiving you guys. Um, okay, but, anyways. Um, so. These are the steps I took to set up uh, my Ubuntu Touch um, for development. Um, at the very least, at this rate, I can at least, um, and I, I think, I don't think, I think I don't have the commands right or something in my package.json file. Um, but uh, just like you're able to on Ubuntu, you, like, you should be able to set up the same development environment in your LibreTime container. Um, so, uh, I just thought that this was really cool because I, again, I have a portable display, like a little, like monitor I take with me. I have my phone. So, um, I just thought like it was really nice as opposed to, I have my desktop, but I mean, you know, that's a bit more cumbersome to carry around everywhere. Um, and I thought this was really creative. So I thought to show you guys, um, Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I know probably a lot of people don't have uh, Ubuntu Touch, um, but if I do make a video on a review for that, uh, please feel free to watch that. Um, it is really, really cool. It's the uh, first phone that I was like actually excited for because like nowadays, like I don't know, when you get a new phone, it just feels like the same phone that you got before. Um, so this is the first time I legit got excited over a phone. Uh, other than the Pine phone, the Pine phone is also very exciting, but this is, uh, we'll leave it to the, you know, review, but this is, <laughs> this is a little bit better, honestly. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, um, 
please subscribe if you like this content and to see more content like this.